Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Now, I was playing a NES game here called The King of Kings. At first, I was thinking, damn, did Triple H have a game back in the day? And I was like, nah, I don't think he was really that elaborate with uh, programming. So, here's the game right here, The King of Kings. Obviously, I don't have this cart. I might consider getting it, because it honestly is not a bad game at all. But prior to a lot of reviewers say, it's... I'm not religious at all, but I, I just see there's something behind it that it really isn't horrible to behold. Now, if you are a really strong Bible junkie, then this game will be up your ass, basically. Like, right up your alley, rather. It's just... You're one of the wise men, I guess, is what his name, this guy is. And, uh, you have to go and, well, collect some scroll, uh, frankincense. Shit. Fucking bird. But, you gotta go and basically collect all these incense, these frankincense, and collect these tomes, which have, like, random little trivia questions about the book. But he shall not endure a little while, the same shall be saved. Matthew 24, 20, 13. Now, if you want a cheat guide for this game, just go get your damn Bible if you have one. But I have no clue if this is true or false. I'm going to pick false. Correct. Wow. I actually got that right. But, again, it's really not a broken game. It's not bad. It's interesting. It's very good for kids if you're... If you have kids that are really interested in, like, you know, learning religion, then this game will be right up their alley again. So honestly, I have not seen a thing that's really wrong with this. I mean, if unless you really hate religion that badly, then obviously this isn't for you. You're not going to like it. But, honestly, I'm not a religious guy, but it's, well, pretty good. God is a spirit, and that dash watch him should be spared and in truth. I'll just pick God. Alright, yeah, I guess that worked. If you get questions right, you get more tomes, I guess, for health. And this game is really graphically detailed for some aspects. That's also how I figured out what those were. Frankincense counts. <laughs> I had to play a little bit of this earlier to try to figure out what the heck it was. Again, I mean, it just really isn't a horrible game. I mean, the Anger Video Game Nerd did a review for this one, and it, you know, I kind of was kind of thinking, this one isn't bad, you know? Because you think he did it briefly with this. Um, me and my friend James were talking about it on uh, Skype, and... I was like, really? So I, I had to look it up myself and see... Whoa, this game is like cliffhanger. Oh, fuck. Oh, reanimations? Oh, screw that. Ah! Ah, you bastard! Stop trying to kill me! I'm the wise man! I'm supposed to live! To deliver something to baby Jesus or something. Uh, some gold or some leather or something. I don't know. And there was a war in heaven, and blank, and then angels who fought against the dragon. What? There was a dragon? Luke, Michael, Revelations, twelve seven. Wow, I got it right again. Go me. He just put me a closet Jesus fan. That's why you know the answer to that one. I just guessed. I'm just being honest with you. I just guessed. <laughs> These little trivial questions, but the day blank was Sabbath of the Lord thy God, Exodus twelve ten. I'm gonna have to call on the lifeline. Hey James, you know what the answer is? Nope. He don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna put the tenth. Eh, I got it wrong. I'm going to hell. Anyway, um. But again, it's, it's really a nostalgic little game. I mean, if it's something you probably won't play forever, or, you know, something really interesting to have in your collection. It's called The King of Kings. It's uh, definitely worth picking up. So, uh, other than that, just wanted to show that to you guys. I thought it was a really interesting game. Well, 
couple minutes of it anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and take care.